Hi there guys, welcome back to the channel, you are here with The Architect and we are playing MotoGP21 on the Xbox. We are in France uh, this week guys, we are in France at the Le Mans circuit. We've got three more rounds I think after this. We up the difficulty uh, this time, we're now running at 100%. Uh, and I think we're starting to get to that point where... No, we don't want soft, we want mediums. What am I doing? Concentrate. Yeah, we're getting to the point now, I think, where we are potentially reaching our standard, I think. I don't think we're far off now. But we've got a setup loaded already, so we're just going to get down to track and we're going to kick off this race. Grand Prix. The riders are spread out on the grid, the light will soon go out and the Le Mans race will get underway. So we're going to see what we can do on 100%. Our qualifying was poor, so we need a good start here. And I think we've got one. Our gearing's ever so tall. Oh, and we hit the front straight away. Let's not screw this corner up. This is where I screw everything up on these S's here. That's where I normally balls it up. So we've got nine laps of this. Don't want to get out in front again too far. I'm hoping to have a competitive race this time round. If I can remember all the braking markers. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. Let's see where we are. One second in front already. 1.2 seconds in front. 1.3. Oh, we've gone in deep. Oh, yeah, a bit too deep there. 1.9 though. One and a half seconds. What is going on? We're pulling a gap. Look at that white space behind us. I like this trap though, but I wanted a competitive race. Rear tyres eating up. I'll be pleased if I can race at over 100%. I'll be happy with that. Oh, that's a dodgy corner. Making up my own track there. Rear tyres hotting up. Four seconds in front, come on. Five seconds, oops. Oh dear, got a track limits warning. I am going at it though, like a bullet a gate here. I'm really tanking it. I won't have much tyre left if I carry on like that actually, so we better calm down a little bit. I did put a medium tyre on here, didn't I? I didn't put a soft on. I did. Oh my god. I thought something was wrong. Oh, now we're going to struggle. So we started to make headway five seconds in front, but I've gone and put a soft tyre on. I knew something was wrong. What an idiot. Oh, this is going to be like um, a Mark Marquez, isn't it, over the weekend, where he felt a bit of uh, a bit of rain coming, so he, he pulled the pin. He put the hammer down. I'm going to have to do the same here and let that tyre last seven laps. I'm halfway through the tyre already. We have six and a half seconds in front. That was a poor mistake. Very poor mistake. We're going to have to manage the tyre, guys. We're into tyre management. Seven seconds in front. Oh, look at that. Did, did you see that red tyre then? We just lost about three mil off it. When your tyre gets that hot, it's no good. So we're just going to take it easy. Eight seconds in front. I'm not sure why we're eight seconds in front though. Although if this is the case, we can up it another 5% next time. And uh, I'll probably be really pleased that I can play this game on over 100%. So that'd be nice. 
So did anybody watch the GPs this weekend? Did anybody see Mark Marquez win his race at Saxon Ring Circuit? We know he's a god there anyway. But they said a lot of it was because it was all left-handers. You know, it wasn't overly demanding on his uh, injuries. So it was the perfect track for him. So whether or not he can do that at the next race, we'll have to see. So it might be just a one-it wonder kind of race for Marquez. But it shows progress and it shows that it can still win races. Oh, rear tyre's going, guys. The rear tyre's going. We've got... <laughs> We've got... Well, we've just come round for round four. We've got five laps, and I've already got no tyre. How did I manage to do that? John McPhee, he got caught out again. Uh, in Moto3. So, talking about the crew chief and things like that leaving him. You know, and... They thought that would make a difference. It actually didn't. He was actually on it. But he, he always seems to get tangled up with all other people, doesn't he? And it just ruins everything. He can't keep clear of anybody. He's just... I'm beginning to wonder whether it's him. And whether or not he's got the X Factor, if you like. Whether or not he's got what it takes. Because he keeps getting tangled up in everybody else's accidents, doesn't he? And he can't keep doing that. Oh, guys, look at this rear tyre. I am an absolute idiot and a buffoon for doing this. This could be the first race we lose. We're 11 seconds in front. We're still managing to hang on. So hopefully that gap is enough, when that tyre starts to go off, hopefully that gap is enough. Whoa! That's a track limits warning, isn't it? Yeah, so that's two I've got. I might have to use all them. <laughs> yeah, see if we can play the strategic game and use all the track limit warnings just to save the tyre. Oh, that's it, it's gone on the right hand side now. I'm all over the track now. A significant difference. 12 seconds in front though, 12.3 seconds in front. This is ridiculous. Took me biking for some new Olin suspension. My triumph. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, so my triumph has gone in now for the Olins and a new pair of tyres. And while I was there, I picked up. A Tracer 7, uh, uh, the MT-07, Yamaha MT-07, but the Tracer. The engine's a parallel twin. I was super impressed with that engine. For the amount of power it's got, it's only got 75 horsepower. But when you ride it, it doesn't feel like it at all. It's a superb little machine. So I was uh, impressed with that, but it's a bike that my brother has bought, and he's coming up to visit. So we're going to be out on our bikes, I'll be out on the VFR, he'll be out on the Tracer. Oh, it's so sensitive with that tyre now. Let's have a wheelie. 14 seconds and no rear tyre. 14 seconds in front. But literally, that tire, I can't get no grip on the tyre. It has gone, guys. The tyre has gone. We had tyre trouble in the last race as well. At the Saxon ring, wasn't it? 14 and a half seconds now. But still, the front tyre is not great, is it? Under the Dunlop Bridge. It's 
So guys, we've got three more races left in this championship. But the question is, where we're going to go to next? It's up to you guys. Just leave me a comment below where you want to go to next. My feeling is the 990 cc's or the 800's, absolutely. Um, we could do another 500 race, but I feel like I want to use the uh, limited edition bikes next in the 800's or the 990's. So I think that's what I want to go to. But the decision is down to you guys, so let me know in the comments where you fancy going next. We're doing the historical series, we're not going into GPs, everybody's been doing GPs, all the new stuff, so there's plenty of videos out there on that. But I'll do the historical stuff, that's where I've said. We will get to the GP bikes, we will get to the new career mode at some point. But it's not yet. I can't even pull a wheelie now. Uh, two laps left of fuel as well. Whoa! <laughs> Track limits warning. We're going to end up having to go through the long lap penalty at this rate. I can't, <laughs> I can't take this bike round the corner. <laughs> oh, look at it! <laughs> it's so unstable. It's all over the place. That was a wheel spin all the way to this corner. Yeah, so guys, please leave me a comment. Let me know where we're going to go to next. If there's anything specific you want to see, just let me know. And I will endeavour to do my best to do what it is that you guys want to see. But I know there's um, a lot of you who wanted to go into the historical mode. So that's what we've done this time. Let's have a wheelie. Ooh. Oops, whoa, whoa, whoa. But we've only got two more races left, three more races left. So not long now. Whoa! <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> what happened there? Oh god. So how many? Let's see if we can. Oh, we're so far off. Which way? Oh, we're going this way. Oh, the core took with us now. That's not good. We c <laughs> oh, what a nightmare. No front tyre, no rear tyre. And the pack is right behind us now. Final lap as well. Oh, I just can't stop. That's another. We've got one more limit warning left. <laughs> one and a half seconds behind us now. I can't break. No front tyre. I can't get any grip. Ah! <laughs> There's nowhere to go, I've got nothing left. I've got a little speck of red on the flat part of the tyre. Whoa! And I'm still making ground. I'm still getting out on in front. I'm either a god at this game, which I don't think I am. At all. Or well, there's something wrong with the AI. And I'll go with there's something wrong with the AI. I think. Oh. Let's kind of get a wheelie over the line then. Oh, that, we missed it. 
Well, we finally managed it. Before we go to Park Ferme for the celebrations, let's take a look at the final race results. Go look how slow that is. Look at the best lap, 140. In warm up, I did a 137, I think it was. Anyway, we come first, we got some more points. We're going up another 5% in the AI difficulty next time round. John Kaczynski come second, and then Alex. Michael Doohan come fourth, Biagi in fifth, Eddie Lawson sixth. Arbe on softs, he came eighth, so that weren't too bad. Wayne Rainey down in 11th place. So moving on then to Riders' Championship, where well, we're still leading, aren't we? Uh, 150 points ahead now, so we're storming away on this. Don't think we can actually lose it now with only three races to go. Um, but then again, we are up in the difficulty, so we might end up losing a few. John Kaczynski has moved up four places to fifth position. Alex is now in fourth place, Biaggi in third, and McCoy still in second place. We better get off to the podium, aren't we? This rider has been able to impose a frantic pace on today's race, and now he and his mechanics are rightly going to party. It's a nice lid he's wearing this time. I'm sure he wasn't wearing that lid in the last race. Anyway, guys, I think that's it for this episode. I hope you've enjoyed this episode, thank you for watching. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to the channel for more MotoGP content, especially the historical series. Please give this video a like and I shall see you in the next episode where we are in Austria, one of my favourite circuits. See you later guys, look after yourselves, bye bye.